Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh and good morning. So today's lab we're going to make a sensor monitoring apps where you need to create or develop an app that connect to the ThinkSpeak IoT platform. So from there you need to retrieve the data from the ThinkSpeak and then uh, display it in your apps. The data that been stored in ThinkSpeak basically is came from this sensor node. So this is Arduino Uno and I connect it to uh, ultrasonic sensor. So basically the data that sent from this Arduino is distance and longitude and longitude GPS coordinate. I already programmed a fixed coordinate, GPS coordinate, so that it will send a let, uh, fixed latitude and longitude data. So today I'll give you a tutorial on how to connect to ThingSpeak. So first you have to open your MIT Apps Inventor web page, uh, create a new project, and then we can start at the designer block, designer uh, screen. So first, you can go to layout and insert um, vertical arrangement. And then for the width, try to change to fill parent. So you can get a full width of the smartphone. And then you can insert um, label. So this label, maybe you can put, uh, change the text to sensor status. So for the width, change to fill parents and make it center. And then you can change the font or change the background color, it's up to you. I want to put it yellow as a background and then make it bold and the size I'll put it 18 and then next you need to go to go back to the layout and insert table arrangement inside the vertical arrangement okay so for the table arrangement set width as fill parent and then for the column you need to put uh, four row two, okay. Because we have uh, three data that we need to display. First is distance from ultrasonic sensor. Second is latitude, and third is longitude of the GPS coordinate. And then after that, you can insert label. So this you can change it to change text to distant. For this two you can I think you can remove it. You can place it here much better this we put it as a latitude and here is the longitude data so level 3 5 and 7 we need to make it an empty space so that the data from the thing speak will appear over this label so make stacks uh, empty and then you need to put with uh, percentage around 25 percent similar to level 5 empty the text 
and set width for 25% and level 7 similar Okay, so once it's connected to the things plane, the data will appear inside this table. So next, we need to make a status, uh, a things plane status. Basically, it's because we need to know whether the data is uh, transmitted or retrieved by the apps or not. So go to the layout, uh, choose horizontal arrangement with set field parent and go to user interface, yeah, insert label, two label here. So the label 8, you need to change it as uh, things speak status. This one, we text make it empty and with put it fill parent. Okay, done. Uh, so before I forget, we need to change the label name so that it's easier for you to do the block programming afterward. So first, we need to change the label of the level 3 to okay, click rename to ultrasonic because this way we are going to display the data from the ultrasonic sensor and then level 5 we need to rename it as the latitude and level 7 rename it to longitude and lastly for the status level 9 here yeah, yeah. we want to uh, display the status of the connection so change it to rename it as things fix status and lastly we need to add clock and wipe so clock you can go to the sensor tab and then drag clock into the viewer so you have a clock here and then click connectivity and then drag web so for this web we need to rename it to things speak so this web will connect to the things speak URL. Okay, that's all. So we can go to the block viewer. So we are in the block viewer. Uh, first, you need to initialize global variables. So right now we have three variables. First, ultrasonic. Second, latitude. And third is the longitude that we, we need to ex uh, get from the things speak. Uh, and then set it to 0 you can get this block from variable and then drag initialize global name to here and then set this three variable to 0 and then you need to initialize global variable for the URL of the thing speak uh, read data so from here Basically, you need to add text, drag this uh, block, and then paste the URL of the thing speak to read the data. So basically, you can get it from thing speak API key, and then go to the API request if you have the thing speak account. So for easier, you can key in this URL. So in the MIT apps 
inventor I separate three uh, three line which is if you go to this one so add the API key equal to I make it separation for the API key and for the suffix the last uh, sentence so for this number this is the channel ID for the thing speak and this is the API key for read data so you can use uh, my ID and also API key to get the data from the thing speak so after that you can name uh, this variable to thing speak channel URL prefix this one thing speak channel read key and lastly thing speak channel URL suffix so after that you need to add this uh, procedure so you can get this procedure at the procedure button here to procedure do this one so to read thing speak do so you need to call the URL of the thing speak that we already assigned in the global variable here so you can get this block from thing speak web and then add Uh, set set thing speak you are dot url two. So drag and drop here, and then uh, get a block join, and then join these three variables. And then lastly, call thing speak dot get from the thing speak here. Call call thing speak dot and then after that so when you call thingspeak thingspeak will send a, a javascript object notation file to the apps and basically the app did not uh, will not understand the javascript so what uh, the apps need is to extract it so this block function to extract the J, J, javascript file to the understandable file that the apps can read so you can get this block from sorry thing speak and then choose when thing speak dot get got text and then add set thing speak status dot text to get respond contents so this will uh, we already set in the designer viewer here for the thing speak status and then it will appear from the response content and then if get respond code equal to 200 it means that if HTTP is okay the connection internet is okay then initialize local javascript object notation to call things speak dot javascript object notation text decode te uh, get respond content so in that uh, content in that in that file or text javascript text we will get the field 3 field 1 and field 2 where field 3 is the ultrasonic uh, data field 1 is the latitude and field 2 is the longitude data of the gps coordinate just follow this uh, coding and lastly we need to add the clock so when the clock dot timer do call read things speak so it means that we already set the clock here before so we set this clock basically when clock equal uh, clock dot timer uh, one second it will read every one second the thing speak status 
receive thing with thing uh, thing speed status and then set ultrasonic text to global ultrasonic latitude and also longitude okay so your task will be to create and add a map into your apps and then in the map you need to provide a marker to show the location of the sensor so marker of the GPS coordinate is from the latitude and longitude that we get from the thing speed so for this lab I will give you two weeks to finish it uh, you need to work in group that you have assigned before the similar group that you did for the lab 1 and lab 2 and then for the deadline of this lab um, I will give you until 30 April 2020 so you don't have to make a video but just send your uh, .aie and .apk file to author utation okay that's all thank you see you again